Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video I'm excited to do. We are kicking off the final part of my makeup declutter series that I have been doing for several months now. And it is finally time to get into my lip category. So to kick it off, I have my liquid lip products here. Next week is going to be gloss, then we're gonna have lip liners, and the final finale is going to be my cream lipsticks, bullet lipsticks, and all of that. So in this pile, I have all of my liquid lip products, and this is a lot. This is, this is too much. I really want to cut this down. That is what we're going to do today. So I'm going to have my declutter playlist linked in uh, the description box if you want to catch more and see how I've done decluttering my entire collection, but I am ready. The day is finally here. I know a lot of you are excited for it. Let's go ahead and get started. I think I've been trying to decide how it is that I want to do this declutter. I think I'm first. I wanted to be able to show you everything. So this is, that's everything. But I think I'm going to divide it into brands first and then kind of go from there. And if I see things that I'm curious about keeping because I'm not sure about dupes and such, I'll be kind of pulling along the way. Probably going to swatch a lot. Don't know if I'll swatch everything, but I'll probably be swatching a lot to try to help make my decisions here. So let me go ahead and divide it into brand categories first, just to help me visually. <laughs> So here is a little overview. We have ColourPop, Dose of Colors, NYX, Ofra, Huda Beauty, A Lawless. We have NARS, Persona, Pixie. But this is how I'm gonna start it, just to kind of, again, just kind of like help me visually going about this. So I think I actually just wanna start because I wanna make this like as quick as painless as I can. So I wanna start with some, some that I just know I, I don't want to keep around in my collection. So let's see here. I'm going to start. This one here is from Chrisanna Ann Cosmetics. This was an indie brand. I actually, I don't know if she is still currently putting out new products or not, but there hasn't been a new release from Chrisanna Ann for a while. I did like her liquid lipsticks. This has been the one shade that I've kind of kept around for a while, and this was in Goals AF, but I know that I've had it for a while, and again, I'm not really sure if the brand is putting out a lot of new stuff right now, uh, and I definitely have my favorites, my favorite shades, my favorite formulas, and all of that, so I really, as with all of my declutters, I'm really going to try to do my best job here. So I am going to declutter that one. Uh, let's see. I also have this one here from Carity. Obviously, I'm kind of going to keep my bigger piles towards the end because those are the ones where, like, I know I like their formulas a lot. <laughs> so, um, but moving on. This one, this is from Carity. This is their Lip Lock. And the shade that I have is Fade Out. And I do like this shade. This one is a little bit more of like a pinky mauve, like a pinky rosy mauve. But again, not a favorite formula of mine, just not one that I reach for as much. So I'm also going to declutter that one. Next up, I have this one. This was uh, from Palladio Beauty in collaboration with Casey Holmes. I bought all three of the liquid lipsticks that came out because I'm a big fan of Casey Holmes. I believe this was the first time I had tried Palladio Beauty, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I didn't, like, the formula wasn't an absolute favorite of mine, which is why I ended up decluttering the other two shades. But I kept this one around. Um, you know, a big reason is I just... I really do like Casey Holmes. I still watch all of her videos. I just purchased a shirt recently from Rosie Days that I'm really excited to receive, which is her boutique. But because this formula just continues to not be a favorite, it's just a little bit more drying than I like it to be. I do like this shade a lot, but I was kind of keeping it around for sentimental reasons, which I think is okay. But I have her collab still with Smashbox, the highlight palette I kept. I do have her Sunnies uh, that she came out with with uh, Diff Eyewear. So uh, I'm going to put this one in my declutter pile. I just know that I'm not going to reach for it. Next up, I have this little one from Too Faced. This is the Melt It Matte. This one is in the shade Queen B. And this one, again, never was a favorite formula of mine, but I liked it enough, but I really, really liked this color. I was a big fan of this kind of more cool tone shade. And, okay, doing that just kind of sparked something in me. Um, I have the shade Rosebud from Dose of Colors, and I want to see how similar those two are. Okay, they're not like 
um, exact dupes. I'd say the one from Too Faced is a little bit darker, but this one here is Rosebud from Dose of Colors. When I was swatching Queen Bee, I was like, that reminds me a lot of Rosebud. So Queen Bee here from uh, Too Faced, again, it's just not a formula I wear as much. This mini came in like a, I think it was like a Sephora Favorites lip collection because I used to purchase those so often. So I know that I've had this one for a while. So I'm also going to declutter that one. We are starting off strong. Uh, just wait for it though. Just wait for it. First single that I have, this is from Kevin Aquan, and this is their Molten Liquid Lipstick, I believe is the term. And the shade that I have is Janet. I got this in a Sephora sale. Uh, mostly, I, I was just curious about it. I like a lot of products from Kevin Aquan, so I wanted to give it a shot. Now, I can't say, once again, I can't say it turned into a favorite, favorite formula, but I like it. It's still, like, somewhat... New, it's not like brand new in my collection, but it's still somewhat new-ish and I still like to play with it, you know, pull it out from time to time. So I'm going to keep Janet around from Kevin Aquan. Okay, actually I have two from Sigma, so I'm going to put those together. Uh, another single, this is a from the Sephora collection. This one is in the shade 40. I'm such a fan of this shade, just like this really nice nude, a little bit more brown loved that shade. I did like this formula too. I've recommended the Sephora, uh, the Sephora cream lip stains. I have recommended them a lot. Shout out to all the nurses. I mean, shout out to you just in general, shout out to you, but I always get comments about my veins and I just got done with a walk with my dog. So they're very prominent. <laughs> uh, I'm kind of torn on this one because it's like, I haven't reached for this one from Sephora in so long, but I loved this color. But you know what? I've had it for a while. I know there's still plastic on it because this just is showing you how truly lazy I am. But I really have, I mean, if you've been here for a while, you've seen me use this shade. But I just haven't reached for it in a while. I'm really trying to cut down, especially my lip collection. And I'm going to go ahead and declare this one. Whoo! Whoo! I'm feeling feisty. Whoo! I'm feeling feisty right now. All right. Marc Jacobs. Okay, this is from Marc Jacobs. This is Truth or Bear, and this is the uh, Lamarck Liquid Lip Creme. So Marc Jacobs has a lot of different lip formulas out. I do like the ones, like the bullet lipsticks. I have a couple different shades that you'll see coming up in that declutter that I really do like. Shade, not a favorite though. I like the formula. I would recommend it. Honestly, Marc Jacobs lip products are one of the first things that really sold me on the brand because it's expensive. It's a pricey brand, uh, but really the lip products. I think are fantastic. I would definitely recommend this formula, but this shade is not a favorite. I like nude lips. I like nude brown or like very nude pink. I don't really like the kind of, this isn't really bright pink, but it's just a pink that I don't go for very often. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to do it. I'm going to declutter it. I bought this one myself but I'm going to declutter it. It's been a while. I, I purchased it several years ago. And just because that shade is not a favorite of mine, we're going to say goodbye. Mm, okay. Next up, I have this one from Revlon. This is the Ultra HD Matte Lip Mousse. It says Hyper Matte. This was sent to me from Revlon in a collection. I didn't love this formula, but I kept around this shade out of everything that they sent me because out of all of the shades, this was the one that like I at least liked the most. Um, it's more cool toned. So again, kind of like we have the Queen Bee here. Again, Ro Rosebud from Dose of Colors for reference. And then uh, this one from Revlon, which I didn't even tell you the name, so that's super helpful. This is Death Valley. Okay, first of all, these have a crazy scent to them. Like, all I can smell right now is this lipstick. It's got, like, a very sweet smell to it. You know, it's for everything that says, like, ultra matte, hyper matte, you know, it, it definitely was matte on the lips, but it really didn't stick around. A lot of times, something that's really, really long wearing will be more matte, and I really didn't think this lasted very long. Again, this shade... Not totally a favorite. The cool tones, I, I like ha having a mix of cool tones here and there, but definitely not a favorite formula. So I'm going to put that one in my declutter pile. Who am I gonna have any lipsticks left? Like this is what I'm thinking right now. No, you got this girl, you got this, you're doing good. Next up I see this one from MAC. Man, I love this shade. When I pulled this out as I was getting ready for this declutter, I was like, there it is, MAC Burnt Spice. I have worn this baby so many times. Okay, this is their Retro Matte Liquid Lip Color in Burnt Spice. 
I had a deep obsession with this color when I first got it. Oh dear, things are getting wild. I mean, looking at it, it's just, it's one of those just like beautiful, perfect nudes. It was gorgeous. It was like a my lips, but better, but it was a liquid lip. It was a little bit more drying, you know, but again, sometimes with liquid lips, if they can be more long wearing, I don't mind if they're more drying. And this color was just a favorite of mine, but I haven't pulled it out in such a long time. And I... I, my first thought when I pulled it out, besides it being like, ooh, Mac Burton Spice, I remember that I loved it, was when's the last time I've realistically used this? And it's been a very, very long time. So I'm gonna be strong here. And I'm gonna put that in my declutter pile. Whew. Okay then. All right, next up, this one here from Flower Beauty. This is in Rosewood. So I feel like I've been decluttering a lot of my Flower Beauty in my declutters, but I don't, I don't really know. I don't know what's going on with the brand. They're kind of harder to find right now. I'm not sure. I'm not really sure what they're doing. Um, that's a pretty color. It is. It's a little bit more on the like terracotta side, which I think is just beautiful. But again. The formula never was a favorite of mine. Quarantine drinking game with my declutters wasn't a favorite of mine. I just don't reach for it very often. I'm going to do it. I'm going to put it in the declutter pile. I think it's going to be okay. All right. Next up, I have this one here from Fenty Beauty. This is one of their uncuffed liquid lipsticks. I lied. This is one of the Stunna lip paints and the shade is uncuffed. <laughs> Got it. All right. So I actually, I really do like this liquid lipstick packaging a little bit funky applicator a little bit different but that's okay but i really really like that shade like big fan big fan of that shade i'm kind of looking at my hand over like is there anything that it's, that it looks really really similar to sometimes liquid lips can be a little bit tough too because as they are wet and as they dry down they can look a little bit different, but really enjoy the shade Uncuffed. Has a little bit more of a deeper mauve to it, but still kind of pinky at the same time. And I really do like this formula. The packaging is a little bit tough, and sometimes I feel like it gets lost in the shuffle because of it. But I still like this one a lot, so I am going to keep that one from Fenty Beauty. Another one I'm going to keep, this is a from Hourglass. Uh, and I received this in my Beautylish Lucky Bag that I got this year. And this is a one of their, oh, I don't think it says the name, but uh, I want to say it has the word confession, like slim lipstick or something like that. And this is the shade At Night, which is a red. I don't wear red super often. I definitely like to keep some red in my collection because I like to spice things up every now and again. Um... But this formula, I just, I don't know how I feel about it. I've only worn it a couple times. I haven't given, like, my full review yet on YouTube. But as I'm doing this, this should, this isn't really, like, a liquid lip. So this probably should have been in my other declutter. But that's okay. I'm going to leave it in here because that's okay. I might find, who knows, I might find liquid lipsticks <laughs> scattered around my house. And I can put it in the regular declutter. It's all good. But I, the reason why I say I'm going to keep it is because it's new to me. I don't think I've even done like my official review on YouTube. I've only worn it a handful of times. Really love it though. It's a little bit more slippery than I like it to be. Like it kind of just moves around a little bit and the, the shade isn't a total favorite of mine. So these are expensive. I was kind of curious to see like maybe if I loved it, I could get like a refill of a different shade, but I don't think I'm going to do that. But again, because it's newer and I like to be able to review my new products like really thoroughly and all of that. I am going to keep it around for the time being. Let's keep it going. I have two here from Buxom. Wait, no, I still have a single. Ah, okay. This is from Ciate London. I feel like so many of my lipsticks are going to like somewhat match my nails. Done at Salon Samantha. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. From Ciate London, this is one of their liquid velvets, and this is in the shade Bittersweet. I believe this one was a little bit, yeah, this was a little bit more cool tone too, and kind of on that, oh, you, like, you guys remember when these sort of lips were just, like, super, super popular. Uh, okay. This one came in, like, a Sephora Favorites lip kit also, so I know that means that I've had it for a while. I used to buy those a ton. I have so many videos on my channel with those. And I like the formula. It's a little bit more comfortable. I really do like that shade. But again, it's like, when's the last time I reached for this? I've had it for such a long time. I'm going to declutter it. 
clothes. You know those days where like you can declutter? I don't even want to go near my closet right now because I might not be left with any clothes. Then moving on, we have two here from Buxom. So these are two different formulas. So one is the Cereal Kisser and this is in Smooch. So, I don't know, kind of intimidating right there. Oh yeah, this is the one that's kind of more like, it's kind of more like a lip oil. And when it, you first put it on, I mean, you can probably tell from the swatch, like it looks really sheer. It doesn't really look like much is going to happen, but it actually, it's very interesting. It actually kind of dries down and it's more lipstick looking than lip oil looking. It's very interesting. I wasn't sure about it at first because it like changes over time. Um, definitely has that sweet smell to it as well. Uh, so it's it's definitely interesting. I remember getting these from Buxom in PR and this was the, the shade that I kept but not a favorite not one that I'm going to reach for very often, so I will declutter that one. And then next up here, this one is a Pillow Pout Creamy Plumping Lip Powder, and this is in the shade Cozy Up. So again, like, props to Buxom for, like, being a little bit different, you know? That's always fun. So that is the swatch of Cozy Up, and you have, like, a floof ball applicator here proper term you guys know proper term and uh that is how you apply it and it kind of feels more of like like a powdery feeling on the lips and actually the product is in the cap so like if you need more product you kind of go like that come back and you, you see that there's more product on the applicator very interesting kind of takes a bit to do it though um again like props for something different but I don't wear it a lot, so it's going in the declutter pile. Mm. Mm. I'm feeling good. Two here from Wet n Wild. These are the Liquid Catsuit High Shine Lipstick. Okay, you know, I wasn't a fan at all of their original Liquid Catsuit Liquid Lips. Man, I did not like those. And I went out and bought almost every single shade because like everybody loved those and I was like, wow. That was real depressing. But these are uh, newer-ish, the High Shine lipstick. So I have two different shades. I have, remember when I said I wasn't going to swatch everything and here I am. I have Sen Nudes and Mauve Over Girl. Even just getting the swatch, it's like kind of, I don't know, just kind of like drier. It kind of feels like you have to like pull it across your lips. Mauve Over Girl for, like that's in the name, Mauve, M-A-U-V-E, like my nails. And this one is definitely more like cool tone purple and then you have the nude and they are very shiny but I I just I don't know I don't see I I did you guys like these versus the original liquid lipsticks did you still like the original ones more I'm just not really a fan of either formula so going to declutter those uh, I have two here from Sam Marcel. These are the Luxurious Liquid Lipsticks. I have the shades Claudine and Celine. Uh, so these were, this formula was very nice. It's a slightly, I'll say like slightly more drying, but you need, like it's one of those lips that you need like such a small amount of product and it's going to just really show up and really stay in place, which I like. So that's why I like, you know, a little bit drier, but it's going to stay have Claudine and then Celine is the more like pinky nude. I like both of those shades, but again, Sam Marcel is another brand that I haven't heard a lot from uh, recently. I don't know, I don't really know what they're up to if they're coming out with some new releases. So really nice packaging on these, uh, but again, just don't reach for them very much. So I am going to put that in my declutter pile. I have two here from Sigma Beauty. These are their liquid lipsticks and we have... Uh, new mod and then foxglove foxglove is one of those like wild cards for me i enjoy the shade so much and I, I mean you guys might know that i love a good nude but something about this shade just makes me feel a certain way when i wear it a lot of times i reach for this more in like the warm weather months with a very basic eye Maybe just one shadow, a bunch of mascara, or even lashes, but then this like bright popping lip, I think it is such a cool color. I don't know what it is, but I still continue to keep around, 
keep it around because I just think it's so much fun. So I will be keeping a foxglove. And then the other one that I have, like I said, is a new mod. I do like the liquid lipstick formula from Sigma. I don't know if it's going to be like one of my like top, top ones, but I do think that it's nice. New mod is just one of those beautiful nudes too. But both of those shades, I've kept them around because I really do like them. So I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to keep new mod as well from Sigma. Okay, then I have two here from CoverGirl. These are the CoverGirl Queen Collection Major Shade Lipsticks. And let's see, the coral shade, oh, here they are. Coral shade is Bay, and then the nude is Insider. Bay is another one of those shades that, this one is more of like the corally orange. Not a shade that I wear very often, but super cool, right? Like it's just, it's fun to have. You know, I don't need to fill my collection with shades like this, but it's nice to have one or two around to just have when you're feeling that way. But I do wanna grab this one here from ColourPop. This is an ultra blotted lip and this is in the shade Away There from, I think this came out in the California collection. So I just wanna do a quick swatch. Ooh, look at that. Those are super, super similar to each other. Hmm. Okay, so the CoverGirl is more of like your liquid lipstick. The ultra blotted lip doesn't have quite the oomph as the CoverGirl, and you might even be able to tell from that in the swatch because it's supposed to look like you've blotted your lips. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna keep the one from ColourPop. And another reason too is that these lipsticks were really hard for me to find when I would wear them and I would want to link them. Like I couldn't even find this collection for the longest time. So I don't know what that was about. Sometimes with certain drugstore products that can be the case and it's like you can only find them at a certain CVS in the western part of the US like it just kind of gets a little bit weird like that but I, especially because those two shades are so similar to one another out of these two I'm going to keep the color pop and I am going to declutter the cover girl did I say that right keep color pop declutter cover girl okay and then the other one that we had was the shade insider it's not like that close that was the Ciate London and they're just a little bit more cool toned but they're different they're, di they're different. Um, I do like that shade. I'm kind of like looking over my hand to see. I don't think anything is like super similar from this hand. Uh, I'm going to declutter it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to be strong. I am going to declutter that one as well. I'm slowly working our way up into some of the bigger piles here, but I do know that I have a few here from NYX Cosmetics. So uh, these are the, all of them are the liquid suedes. A lot of people loved on the liquid suedes for a long time, myself included. I bought a lot of shades. I did receive some from NYX. I received a whole bunch from NYX actually, but I did buy a few myself. And these are the three shades that have kind of stepped around. Let's start with the one that you're all looking at the most and being like, whoa, Samantha, that's really a shade that you wear. Okay, so this shade, no, I'm just, okay, I'm just kidding. I'm just playing. Are you paying attention? Are you watching? You looking? I just like to check in with you guys every now and again. Okay, this one is in Stone, right? Yeah, Stone Fox. Stone Fox. Okay, here we go. Boom. So, you might be wondering, when have I ever worn this liquid lipstick? Oh, I have. I have. I have done it. There were a few shades of the liquid suede that came out from NYX that were just different. Um just very like intense purples this one is a little bit more on that like blue green side um greens I, I mean they had all different kinds of shades in these liquid suede formulas i'm gonna be honest like i kind of like I, a part of me wants to keep this because i'm like i don't have anything else like this i won't buy a lipstick like this again because i don't wear it but honestly i can just tell you guys straight up like i'm not i'm, I'm not gonna wear this i just i just know myself I just know that I'm not. Um, again, I've had it for a very long time. It's been open for a very long time. I got some uses out of it, but truly, I, I, I don't think that you're gonna see me in it, okay? So I'm gonna declutter that one. Um, and then the other ones that we have, this next one here is Soft Spoken. I really, really liked Soft Spoken. I can't remember what, uh, was it like a Kat Von D lipstick maybe that this was being a dupe for so a bunch of people were going out and buying soft-spoken 
Really beautiful shade. Again, I liked the liquid suede. I liked a lot of NYX lipsticks. I recommended them for such a long time. I would still recommend them. I would still most definitely recommend them. Um, like the lip, the lip creams that they had, the lip suede. They just, they really did have nice lip products for a more affordable price. NYX has definitely been a drugstore brand that's creeped up there in price over the years. Uh, but I just, I don't reach for these very often anymore. Um, and then this last one here was Sandstorm. Ooh, maybe it was Sandstorm. That was the one. Was this? No, it was Sand, Sandstorm. Sandstorm was Sandstorm, not Sandstorm. Hello. I am not a storm. This is the one I believe that was the bow and arrow dupe from Kat Von D. Do you remember how everyone freaked out over bow and arrow? Myself included. I think this is the one that was the dupe. Yeah, once I swatched it, I was like, oh yeah, that's the, it's all, it's all coming back, it's all coming back to me now. Those are the three that I still had from NYX, but again, take a drink. I just don't reach for this a lot, not quite a favorite anymore. I'm going to say goodbye to them. I'm going to do it. Let's see, what's maybe my small, well, let's do these ones from Pixie Beauty, because I have five here from Pixie, and I'm going to be honest with you guys, I can't, whoops, I can't remember the last time I wore a Pixie liquid lipstick, just, just to be real, so this is the next one that we can focus on. So I went ahead and swatched all of the uh, five Pixie liquid lips that I have here. So the first one is Pastel Petal. That is the one that I definitely wore the most. Are Matte Beige, Bare Beauty, Really Rose, and then Evening Rose is that last one. Okay, so one thing that's kind of odd about me, there's many things that are odd about me, but just one thing is I don't have the best sense of smell. Like I have one, because I actually know someone who doesn't. I have one, but it's fairly weak. With these ones, they do have a scent, like I can smell kind of that sweet scent, but it also just smells off. I noticed it, I think it was like with the second one that I was like, hmm. And then even as I was capping the last one, I was like, hmm, it just smells odd. Again, I've had these for a while. I got them sent to me from Pixie. I really, really liked this formula. I think that it's very comfortable. A lot of nude shades in here that I really like a lot, but something about it, it I was... I honestly was planning to keep maybe just like pastel petal because I probably don't need to keep all five, but I, I don't like that. And I don't even have a great sense of smell. So for me to be able to pick that up, I'm like, hmm, I don't know about that. So I'm actually going to go ahead and declutter all five of these. I'm not sure if they've gone bad. I'm not sure if maybe just like one or two have, and I can just smell everything because I just swatched all of them. But something about that I'm, I'm feeling a little bit uh, dicey about. So I am going to declutter all five of those. That was unexpected, but I'm a savage, classy, moody, nasty. I just keep it moving. I just like keep moving the tripod up a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. Let's see. Next up, let's do my ones from Huda Beauty because I, if you guys remember, I was like obsessed with these lipsticks when they first came out. I've bought every single one from Huda Beauty myself, and I think at one point I had like 10 or 12 of her liquid lipsticks. Seriously, I was such a fan. I was buying sets. I was buying full size. That's why you see some minis. I tried to start decluttering them, decluttering them down because I used to be kind of like only a lipstick, only a liquid lipstick lover, and then I started to appreciate, especially like bullet lips, but matte lips at the same time. So I definitely have a preference, of course. And now I'm into more glosses, so I feel like I'm not as heavy with liquid lipsticks as I once used to be. I definitely, like, I still do like them. I'm still gonna keep a lot of some of these favorites that you see here in front of you. But uh, I tried to cut them down when I started to notice that I was being able to reach for other type of formulas as well. So, okay. Let me see. Let me start off with the two minis. Wifey and then Bombshell. Wifey was like, oh, look at Wifey. Just look at it. Would you just, just look at it. Wifey is, has just been one of my favorites for so long. Like, so, like I, like so long, you guys, seriously. And then Bombshell was the other one that I have kept around. Okay. I really do like Bombshell also, but Wifey, like, gave me a feeling. It gave me a feeling. You know what I mean? So I'm going, like, I'm going to keep white. I have to. And you know what? This one, this inspires me. Like, I got to wear wifey. I got to wear wifey more because 
it just gave me so many feels. So I'm going to keep wifey and I'm going to declutter bombshell. And then the full size that I have is in girlfriend. There's the swatch of girlfriend. So this one is a little bit more like it has more brown, but almost a little bit more peach into it too. You know, I'm going to keep this one also. I, I have decluttered a lot. I have decluttered a lot. I'm extremely proud of myself. I'm trying not to like give up now, but I just have such a soft spot for these liquid lips because I loved them so much and I've decluttered so many um, out of my collection already that I'm like, you know what? I kept those two around, three technically, but the two that I'm keeping, I've kept them around for a long time. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep that one because I want to and it's my collection and I want to. Okay, and then finally, this one is a little bit different. This is one of the Demi Matte liquid lipsticks. So this came out after kind of the originals and I purchased this one in Day Slayer this shade I mean she just does something with her shades man so you can see from wifey and day slayer they're not the same but they're just still be up like beautiful beautiful nudes I have joyride right now in my shop my stash that one is a bullet lipstick but more matte so you'll see that in the final declutter but this shade I bought this one in a Sephora sale and I immediately started raving about it. The formula I like a lot. It's not as long lasting as the other liquid lipstick formula, but it's also not as drying and it has more of a cream feeling to it. So it's a little bit more comfortable on the lips, but that shade speaks, it just speaks to me. So I will be keeping this one as well from Huda Beauty. Okay, let's move over to NARS. I know we have like quite a few different formulas in here from NARS, but I figured I would put all of them in this one. If you can tell that I have a favorite, it's this one right here. This is one of their full vinyl lip lacquers, and this is in Santo Domingo. Okay, it's a little bit sloppy. It's a little bit sloppy, and it's not like, it's not like a full-on gloss, but it's, I don't know, man. It's gorgeous by itself with a little bit of lip liner. Something about this one, I like the formula. I really like that shade. Even though it leans more pink, it's still just so pretty, especially with like a nude lip liner. Something about this, man. I like this one a lot from NARS. I have worn it a lot. I, I'm definitely going to keep that one. I'm a big fan. Okay, probably the first one that I ever got from NARS. This is one of the, it's one of the lip glides, right? The Velvet Lip Glide in Bound. This is a really popular color with NARS because it came in a Sephora Favorites lip set. And, you know, usually they put the favorites in there. But this one, okay, so I've used it a lot. Look at that swatch. I've used it a lot, and I think that it's, I think it's okay to say goodbye to. <laughs> like, I think, I, I, hey, give me props. I have worn it a lot. I don't know if it's, like, truly empty, empty, but it's hard to, I mean, it might be. It's hard to get some product out of there. So I'm going to declutter that one. I'm pretty proud about that. And these are two more lip glides. We have Roseland and then Cosmel. Roseland. Oh man, I know I recommended this one a lot. Oh, that beautiful like nude rose shade. That is really nice. Okay, hold on. Let me swatch Cosmo because I feel like I like the velvet lip glides, but do I need to keep both shades? Okay, I feel like Cosmo is a little bit harder to get some product out. I'm uh, okay, hold on. Before I speak, oh yeah, this one is more of a red. So this is, oh, what formula? It doesn't say what formula it is, but this is in Hellgate. It's in a lip glide, but I can't remember which one it is now. But I really liked this red. I know I've recommended this a lot too, but I know that there's some red lips that I'm going to keep that I like even more. Okay, I'm going to declutter Hellgate for sure. And I'm still kind of stuck on... Roseland and Cosmo because they both look beautiful but it's like Cosmo doesn't swatch as well you know what okay so I'm going to declutter Roseland because I feel like I like the Cosmo shade better and I can just use this up until I can't use it anymore because I've been really trying to do that with my project pan with my farewell tour which actually isn't up my farewell tour is tomorrow stay tuned I hope that you guys like that video I feel like this could be one that I could put into project pan shop my sash and I could use it up like I really do think that I could especially because of bound so you know what I'm gonna keep that one and that's good I feel good 
I feel good about that. Keep it moving. This is where things are about to get tricky. I hope if you're someone who likes like savage declutters where a bunch of get, is getting decluttered, I hope you enjoyed that first half of this video. The second half might not be for you. Alice Beauty definitely has a favorite liquid lip formula of mine. I've purchased a lot of these myself. I have gotten some in PR. Honestly, I don't remember which ones and which one I've purchased, but I've done both. I really like this lip formula. I can tell you right now, I'm keeping all these. This is what I mean. This is why I really was trying to go hard in that first half because I knew once we get to my favorite formulas, it's just gonna be hard for me to say goodbye to these. I also really enjoy Lawless Beauty as a brand. There is Cameron. This is one of the lightest shades that they have in their liquid lipstick formula. I typically like to pair it with kind of like a darker lip liner. I think that's what makes it look best on me personally. But uh, again, like I said, I'm, I'm keeping all of these. This next one is Leo. This one is a little bit more on the like nude peach side. Still beautiful. Such a nice formula. Very comfortable, not too drying, stays on for a long time. Favorite, favorite shade from the brand is George. I have recommended this over and over again. Look at that beautiful nude. Just look at it. Honestly so beautiful have more of the red is romeo look at that deep deep red that's just so stunning annie did such a good job with this formula the last one here we have is dane again not not a color that i wear super often this one is kind of more almost like your deeper eggplant but you know i've kept a few of those that are just kind of like outliers in my collection and sometimes you just need that you just need to have that happen so like i said keeping all the ones from lawless i just i love them too much to say goodbye to all right so let's go ahead and move over to the ones from persona cosmetics again i'm a big fan of persona cosmetics they have a lot of quality releases and i really do like their lip products they have the liquid lips and then the gloss actually is this oh yeah that is a matte okay i can't remember if that was a matte or a gloss i think i have just the mattes oh that one is from Oprah cosmetics so i just have the four here from Persona Cosmetics in the liquid lips. So we have OG, which is the nude. Phoenix and Holy Grail are more of the red shades. And then the pink one is in Flamingo. Here are the swatches of my liquid lips from Persona. Uh, honestly, I really like this formula. Holy Grail is a really beautiful red. Again, I don't reach for reds often, but that's definitely one of my favorites. And you can see the difference between Holy Grail and Phoenix there. Holy Grail is more of kind of like that true red whereas Phoenix has a little bit more orange to it and then OG is the matte and Flamingo is the pink am I saying that correct yes and I really do like this formula I like Persona Cosmetics a lot as a brand I'm gonna go ahead and keep these four lipsticks I am a big fan of the Dose of Colors uh, liquid lipsticks. I have purchased them myself. I also have some collaborations in this pile with Desi and Katie and also with I Love Sarah E. But uh, let's see, this one in the middle here, this is Stone. So you heard me reference my farewell tour video and that is going to be posted tomorrow. You might have heard me say in like some of my project pan or shop my stash videos that I have like items in my collection that need to go on a farewell tour. Meaning I've had them in my collection for a really long time. It's it's probably time for them to go, but instead of giving them up, they were like favorites. I want to give them a farewell tour. I want to like see them on their way. And uh, you're going to see some lipsticks mentioned in there. A little sneak peek at tomorrow's video. Uh, but there is the swatch of stone and it is like this one was like breaking the internet for a while there. And I love the Dose of Colors liquid lip formula. I think it's very comfortable. It's, it's definitely a drier formula. I mean, just with liquid lipsticks they are, but it's not super drying. It's not uncomfortable. It doesn't look unflattering on the lips. But I've also had stone for a really long time. But because it's on its farewell tour and I have to give it its final hurrah, we'll be keeping stone. Uh, one of my favorites from Dose of Colors and just like a favorite shade in general, this is Truffle. Look at that. Yeah, Truffle. Okay, I kind of want to swatch Truffle next to Wifey. So that one is Truffle and then we have Wifey. You know what? I don't, I think that they're different. I mean, this is like what every nude lover says, but they are different. I did swatch Rosebud earlier, but there it is again. That is the more cool toned one. You know, I d I don't wear Rosebud very often, but I feel like I haven't kept a lot of my cool toned lip colors in here. So I'm gonna keep this one because I know that I do like the formula. So 
I'm going to keep that one. All right, and then we have, these are the ones that were in collaboration with Desi and Katie. So we have My Main and then A Mauve Story. And these, I think, were the ones that were classified as a velvet lip. So they didn't quite dry down all the way. Um, but they were still, they were still a nice formula. I preferred the liquid lipsticks at the time but okay so here we have my main and then this one is a mob story so i'm going to declutter my main i like it and it's a pretty like it's a really pretty brown nude but i just feel like i like my main more and the color well i thought it looked really great especially on desi i don't know i didn't feel like it looked as great on me so i'm going to keep one declutter one for that and then finally, this is the collaboration with I Love Sarah E. And we have uh, New Chica and also Peachy. So Peachy is obviously going to be the one that has more peach to it. It's still pretty, it's still pretty nude, but you can definitely tell that it has some peachy, tune, peachy tones to it. And then New Chica, this one also almost has like a little bit more mauve to it. Like this one to me seems... Actually, this one to me seems really similar to Wifey. I don't know if everything from collaborations are still available, but I am actually going to declutter Peachy and then keep New Chica. So those are my ones from Dose of Colors. So I think I have more Ofra. I think that that's probably my biggest pile. So I'm going to go ahead and move over to my ColourPop because... Obviously, I have a lot of ColourPop in here as well. So I swatched earlier was Oh Hey There, one of the blotted lips. I said I was going to keep that one. So that's going to go in my keep pile. And then some of the like ultra matte and ultra satins. So I'm going to be keeping a point zero. This was a collaboration with Kathleen Lights. And, you know, I don't want to give like too much of my video away tomorrow. But if you're watching this one, um, then you'll know ahead of time. But... I'm going to keep this one very, uh, very different color than I wear, but somehow I still felt like it worked, but, uh, you know, I'm going to keep this one tomorrow. You will understand my reasoning and hopefully you laugh a little bit. I also have beeper. This is my second one of beeper because this was one of like my original liquid lips that I got from ColourPop. So many people lost their mind over the shade beeper, <laughs> myself included. And it's so, so gorgeous. This is, it's a little bit newer to me. It's not like new, new in my collection, but it's not as old as some of my other ones. Uh, okay, let me swatch this one. This one is 951. This was a collaboration with I Love Sarah E. I clearly really enjoy her videos here on YouTube. And I bought some of her ColourPop collabs. Okay. Uh, I feel like I only need to keep one, but I'm like, but they're both so beautiful. But I don't... The reason why I want to cut down this collection is because ColourPop actually doesn't have my favorite lip products. Ultra mattes, ultra satins, glossies, ultra blotted lips. Like, I like their lip liners, but especially the matte lips, I just don't wear them as much. But, like, I'm having such a hard time. You know what? I'm going to keep them. I'm going to keep them. If I'm having a hard time saying goodbye, then I get to keep them because it's my makeup collection and that's what will make me happy. So I'm going to keep both of those. <laughs> okay, also Ariba. This was another collaboration with I Love Sarah E. This is a beautiful red lip. This actually won my March Madness series last year. That red, it's beautiful. Again, there's a few of my favorite reds and that one from uh, ColourPop and I Love Sarah E is definitely one of them. So I'm going to keep Ariba. This one here, this is like brand new to me. This is from the Mulan collection and it's one of their Luxe lipsticks in Strong Chi. I only worn it one time with a tutorial that I did um, with the Mulan collection. It's definitely not, you know, it's a different formula, but it's not, it doesn't have as much oomph as uh, Ariba. But I'm going to keep it since it's new. I would like to be able to review that formula. Okay, um, this is another one from, this is another ultra blotted lip, and this is from the Sailor Moon collection. This one is in the shade Usagi. So that is the swatch of it there. So again, another ultra blotted lip. I do want to keep this one because I haven't reviewed the Sailor Moon collection yet, so I would like to keep that one. There's an ultra glossy lip also that I have with that collection, uh, but I'm going to keep that. 
because I would like to review it. And then I have these three left, and it looks like these are all ultra bladded lips also. Different shades, I have Double Double, Cypress Chill, and Scenic Root. So I'm going to try to declutter some of these because the ultra bladded are not my favorite. Okay, so this one in uh, Double Double, kind of that pink. I don't think I would wear this a lot. That one's going to go in my declutter pile. Next up, we have the Cypress Chill. Um, so that one's a little bit darker, but again, I don't love the Ultra Blotted Lips. I don't know why there's like a chunky part to it, but don't love the Ultra Blotted Lips. I know that I can declutter that one. And then finally, we have Scenic Root. I remember this being the one that I thought was really pretty, but... Again, Ultra Blotted Lips, just not my favorite. So I'm also, and I kept that coral one. So I'm going to put that one in my declutter pile, which means finally, last up, final category. We got my liquid lips from Ofra. My final section is my Ofra Cosmetics liquid lips. Wait, this is, this is not an Ofra Cosmetics liquid lip. We will do this first. I don't know how this snuck in there. This is a, from AOA. This is one of their Wonder Matte Liquid Lipsticks, and this is in the shade Bougie. Uh, I know that I'm going to declutter this one. It wasn't really a favorite of mine. Um, Formula-wise, I didn't think it was great. The color's nice. I do like the color of that, but the formula didn't really blow me away on this one so I'm going to declutter that. Now getting into my Ofra Cosmetics liquid lips. Uh, Ofra has had one of my favorite liquid lipstick formulas since I first like really started getting into liquid lipsticks. Uh, they immediately became a favorite of mine. I have done my own collaboration. I've created my own lip shade uh, when I did my collaboration with Ofra Cosmetics so clearly I'm a big fan. I've I've bought the liquid lips myself from Ofra. Now that I have two here that are um, in the old, so this is the old Ofra packaging versus the newer packaging. So I know that these are both pretty older in my collection. So we have Unzipped and also uh, Milan. I was going to say Milani. I was like, that doesn't seem right. Um, but Unzipped is a really cool shade. I actually have a girlfriend who, this is like one of her favorite liquid lipsticks um and I remember the time where she we were out somewhere and she pulled it out of her purse I was like what like it was just so cool because I was telling them about my over collab and when she pulled out one of their liquid lipsticks I was like that's like really the coolest thing but that is unzipped and then the other one is Milan and this one is a really deep red, but I have another red from Ofra that's actually a favorite of mine. So um, I'm going to declutter both of these though since they are uh, quite older in my collection. Okay, and then moving on to the other ones. So I do have some minis in here. Uh, these came, like Ofra has a lot of sets and sometimes they offer these mini liquid lips, which I think is so cute and I love minis, so I'm all about that. But this one is Atlantic City and this is one of my favorite reds. This has been one of my favorite red lips for a very long time. I, I have actually gone through a full size of Atlantic City I don't go through lipsticks often, and I especially don't go through red lips very often, but it was like my one red lip for the longest time. But I just think that it is so beautiful. Um, let me swatch it. I'll swatch it next to Ariba and then also Holy Grail, just so you guys can get an idea um, shade-wise. So these are my three favorite reds. So we have Atlantic City from Ofra, the ColourPop I Love Sarah E, Ariba, and then Persona Cosmetics Holy Grail. All three are different reds, <laughs> and I'm not even just saying that. They really are all three different reds, but I love them all, so I'm going to be keeping Atlantic City. So Sanibel is the one that I have a full size in a mini, so there's a swatch of Sanibel. I'm wondering if I could find a dupe, but this is Sanibel in the middle, Huda Beauty, Wifey, and then Lawless George, but none of those seemed really similar, so those were the ones that kind of popped out at me from the top of my head, but I don't think I need to keep a mini and a full size. Um, but I feel like I definitely am going to be wearing Story, which is my liquid lip with Ofra quite a bit. So I can probably keep the mini of Sanibel and then declutter the full size. These are my other four minis swatched. Mocha, Aspen, Sedona, and then Portland. So again, these are all four minis. I really do like the Mocha shade. So I know that I want to keep that one. Aspen, it's just one of those like 
really beautiful nudes and again i i love the ofra lipstick formula so i want to keep that one i have sedona and then portland i want to keep portland because portland is actually a name of one of my characters in my books <laughs> so i like when i saw the name portland i got very excited and it's i, I don't have a lot I, I don't think i have anything else like this in my collection kind of one of those like deep chocolate brown lipsticks uh, i just think it's very cool again not a shade that i wear super often but it's really fun especially for fall so i want to keep that one so the only one that i am thinking about is sedona it's not a you know i think that i can declutter that one because sometimes how it has a little bit more of that orange pull to it that's what doesn't look the best to me i'm thinking about my mane from dose of colors that was kind of my issue with that one. So I'm going to keep three and just declutter uh, Sedona from my minis. Of course, I'm going to be keeping Story. This is my liquid lip collaboration with Ofer Cosmetics. It is available now. It is in a duo with my lip gloss, which is Millie. It's available on the Ofer Cosmetics website if you want to check it out. It's still available. But that is the swatch of Story. It's my fave. I love it so much. So I am definitely, of course keeping that one and then uh i had three that were in my uh here they are okay these three also when i did my first like favorites collaboration with ofer cosmetics i had a liquid lip bundle and these are three of my favorite shades so i do also want to keep this around so i have manila look at how beautiful that nude is yeah yeah so beautiful i've also gone through a full um, when it was in the old packaging, but I've, I've gone through a full one of Manila as well because it's just gorgeous. I have Pasadena. So this one is a little bit pinker and you can see the um, swatch next to Story. Story is more of that, that deeper mauve and then Pasadena has a little bit more rosy pink to it. And then also Lasso Las is such a fun shade. This one doesn't have as much orange in it as the Sedona does. It's just kind of like a cool like burnt terracotta type of color and I think that it's really cool without pulling too orange on me so I like this one obviously I like that one a lot too since it was in my favorites collab but uh, I am going to be keeping those three and then the last liquid lip that I have is in Laguna Beach it's definitely a lot more pink than this even like Pasadena you know I I really do like Laguna Beach but I don't wear, I don't know, I just feel like I don't wear those pinks as much. I, I tend again, I tend to go for more of the nudes or the mauves. So I'm actually going to declutter Laguna Beach. And I think, I, I think that I'm going to be okay with that. And then last up here, these three from Ofer Cosmetics. These are their Flexi Slick Formula. So this is like kind of like a cross between a liquid lipstick and a, I don't know if I really want to say a gloss, but it has more of like a creamy shiny finish to it when i first tried these i really was not a fan and i was really excited for these since i like a lot of lip products from ofra i like their lip liners um they've now come out with glosses i obviously really enjoy those but i didn't love these as much and i feel like they've grown on me from the first time that i've tried it i think that there was a formula change in there too from one of the first ones that i tried i wouldn't say that it's a favorite though because i kind of like i just like matte lips or glossy lips like I don't know I, I'm just like I don't like the in-between but I wore this one the other day this is in slip this is one of their newer shades and I thought that was a really pretty shade have slush in the middle and then a fuzzy here in the end I know that I can declutter fuzzy it's just one of those like brown nudes that I don't love on me so I know that I'll declutter that one uh, I think I actually I want to keep slip um, which again is one of the newer ones to me, but I like that color. And then I think that I'm, I'm, I'm going to be okay to declutter slush. Cause again, that's, that one's not a favorite of mine. I kept, kept a lot of their liquid lips and that makes me feel pretty happy with this declutter. Man, how do you think I did? Whew, okay, let me pull everything out and uh, give a final count. So here is the final. We have the keep pile over here. We have the declutter pile over here. I'm going to be keeping 41 liquid lips. <laughs> Still a lot. It's all good. But I'm going to be decluttering 43. Boom. Boom. Pretty much my collection is cut in half. And I feel, 
I feel very successful. I feel I feel good about this. I feel happy and I'm pretty proud with this declutter. I hope that you guys are excited to see the finale. We have a lot of videos left to go. Stay tuned. Next week is going to be the glosses and it's going to be a special video. So stay tuned. That one will be going up next week, but I hope that you enjoyed seeing this liquid lipstick declutter. If you did, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. I hope that you also consider subscribing before you go and I will see you in my next video.